All right, so today we're gonna be re reviewing the Pro Ultra Match 6 inch 45 from Rock Island. It's one of their higher end pistols. It's gonna have a six inch barrel, chambered in 45 ACP, six round magazine. And I think what's best about this firearm, you got a rail on it. But um, if you're out there trying to find a gun that's gonna touch out a little bit, something that's gonna give you a little bit more velocity out of a barrel, then this is probably the one. We haven't shot it yet. I'm real eager to get it behind the trigger. A couple of nice features about it. It has adjustable sights. Uh, it's got a little fiber optic sight up front. Safety, and it's pretty smooth. I've handled some 1911s where the safeties aren't nice at all. Uh, this one, the slide, seems a little worked in. Maybe that's because of the factory grease that came with it. I haven't put any oil in it, so I know it's not me. Well, that's a solid trigger. So like the trigger comes all the way up to a nice little wall right there. Then after that wall, it's crisp. The reset, reset's nice. The slide release, it's a, uh, looks like it's got a lot of grooves in there. So for grip, I don't think this would be a problem using it with gloves or uh, anything like that. That's off pretty easy from the slide release to load one. Really cool feature about this, it has the, those front and rear serrations, so all you crazy up front pressure checkers can check it. That slide is nice. Great slide. You gotta remember this, what, won two war wars, so you can't go better than that. Like the work on it looks pretty good, like for what you're getting, and a 1911 for their price point, like this is, this is some nice quality. It's got some real good rubber grips on there. That might be something I'd look forward to changing out into the future. Um, but I think the real star of this is the six inch barrel. Like you're not really getting anything cooler than a, your grandpa's 45 with a six inch barrel on it. I bet you I can make a 200 yard shot with this one. I'm be, I'm, that's crazy. I can't make a 200 yard shot with 1911. Or can we? It might be video too. I think it'd be a lot cooler if this came optic cut. Everything on the market these days are coming in optic cut, mostly because I think all the guns in the future, like the next like 10, 15 years, everything will have a red dot on it or some type of option to put it on from the factory. One thing that could have made this better, hands down, threaded barrel. Nobody does threaded barrels on a six inch 1911. You'd be the first Rock Island. Think about that threaded barrel on this thing. Might sell this a little bit better. It's already long, so you're not going to get those suppressor guys complaining. It's too late for them. Everybody that's throwing a suppressor on a 5-inch gun, they'll be fine with it. So going back to these sights, these look super easy to adjust. Well, just like a little screwdriver there. That's a fixed fiber optic sight. The orange picks up pretty well in the sun. Yeah, orange picks up well. The back of the sight gives you like a nice flat front with ridges so you can kind of orient orient yourself on there. Yeah, that's super easy to pick up. I bet this is going to be able to shoot still butter. So a setup like this, I don't know if I necessarily carry this gun. Um, I feel like this is more of a range toy. Uh, even in a self-defense, like home invasion type of situation, I'd want something with a couple more rounds in it. But nowadays, 9mm is doing just as much as 45 is doing for stopping. But there, it's not blowing out lungs. That doesn't do that. 9mm doesn't blow out lungs. 45 might though. 45 might take you back out. So let's see how it shoots. Out here in this North Carolina heat, trying out the six inch. Six inch 1911 should have, should be able to handle this pretty good. I don't shoot a lot of iron sights though, so that's, I just gotta smile every time I see six inch 1911s, like six inches of dough. All right, let's throw a timer on and see where we can get. Oh, 
All right, cool. So we'll burn a mag, see if we can actually hit what we're aiming at, and go on target. Five minutes or five seconds, 4.69. We'll run it one more time. Full mag dump, see how it runs and see how fast we can get on target. Ready? Four point six seconds. Solid time. Handles really good. I keep missing like the seventh or eighth shot. That's kind of annoying. Um, let's shoot another couple hundred rounds through it. Keep it running. So at about 15 yards, it was hitting pretty accurate. I was shooting pretty fast. So now we're gonna slow down that shot group, respray the target, and see if I can't get it grouped in the center. I don't care what anybody tells you, eight rounds are not enough. I keep wanting to throw two, three, four mags in my pocket because eight rounds ain't enough, but let's make these eight rounds count. Damn, them eight rounds is hitting hard. Uh, you can feel the steel shaking from back there. So that's me taking my time, 15 yards. It's grouped pretty well. Still no hiccups from the gun. So the gun's still running like it's supposed to be. It's getting a little hot. It's hot out here. My light's still on. Usually O lights start to get hot too. Cool. Shoot the hell out of it. <laughs> it don't take a lot to pick those sights up. Those sights come right in the focus as soon as you pick it up. Kind of pause on that breath a little bit. Control the the recoil yeah pause a little bit for that follow-up all right we got two rounds in there yeah I think shoots nice Shoots nice. Let's go further back. I want to see if I can make a further shot. Now let's take our time and see if I can actually hit it. Yeah, I can hit it. All right. I nipped that one. That, that cut the bullet in half. And that one hit. 1.8 seconds. So you can acquire that target pretty good with these sights from a distance. I'm sure daylight's a lot easier than nighttime because the fiber optics, like every company in the world makes, or not every company, but there are some nice companies that make uh, night sights for these that'll be pretty handy. But yeah, the 45, like, it's only eight shots, but that shit's when it hit, it hits. You can feel the shake of it, you can definitely feel it coming out that barrel. So, one, one cool thing though is like you use it 15 yards, and with that 
850 feet per second slow bullet, man. Like from 15, it's sign of instant. As soon as you went back to about 40, had that slight delay, that popping, you know. You can just tell how slow that bullet really is. It I feels mean, it's more like fast, you but that's it. slow. What's that? Like it feels like you lobbing it. Like yeah, yeah, exactly. Nine mil just feels like you you punching out straight. Like mm -hmm. the 45 just kind of feels like you shooting a big 40 heavy. millimeter fucking grenade. Yeah, big heavy ass bullet, man. I mean, it's gonna hit, but and when it do hit, it's gonna make some noise. Yes, sir, I'm gonna keep on shooting. Keep on shooting. Trying to dust all that World War II off of it. But uh, hell yeah, man, it, it's it's smooth, man. It's not. It's easy to shoot. No. This is easy. Let's say six, six inches is a difference, man. Yeah, it's yeah, a difference. That... Holster from Watchdog Tactical. Maybe you heard of them. All QLS up. Attaches to all your favorite QLS items with a light and the gun. I'm not gonna say the price because it's extremely too reasonable. So So, Rock Island's got a pretty nasty 1911. I've been hitting stuff all all day with this. Maybe miss about 20 of my shots, but it's probably me. You know, I suck sometimes. I'm a man. I can admit it. But every shot I take with it, it just feels so natural. Easy to pick up the sights. Super easy to pick up the sights. trying like the only thing that could have made this gun better threaded barrel but I like threaded barrels on everything it's got a good grip size so I can hold it pretty well I like a rail on stuff like this because a light really weighs down the front and it helps me mitigate that recoil. I know you can get extended max for this. I kind of be seeing why dudes be like, I want a drum for it because I get it. Like, you want more ammo. They make a double stack. I don't know if they make a double stack in that. If they do, that'd be cool. I'd like to try that one out. I mean, who out there owns one of these? Or would you own it? What would you own it for? Like, what would you use it for? Probably come in handy, maybe hunting. Like, you know, you're not gonna have like a whole, you're not self protecting yourself from other people. You'd be protecting yourself from an animal or something, like maybe a bear. Do a little chest rig on this. So that way you can bow hunt in safety and know you got something on you. But yeah, this would definitely be a nice add on to anybody's at home collection. So for those guys that's looking for a budget, 45 ACP, 6 inch, 1911, Rock Island's the one.